Thank you. Barakallahu feekum. So, uh, I'm going to call four individuals and they will come forward. Uh, where's Mickey? Come over here. Uh, Yasmin? Can you see you with the glasses? <laughs> Yes. I'm trying to find the second sister. I don't know her name, but uh, yeah, the sister with the green hijab. Yeah, come. And no, no, put your hand down. Put your hand down. And uh, I think it was it was this guy. Come here. The reason I picked them for today because I've been watching them since the school started and when it is time for Salah, they're sitting, respectful, they don't talk, they don't make noise. And so they will honor them by giving each of them a copy of the Quran and more to come in the future. If you behave, if you don't make noise, you'll be getting something from me. Thank you. Thanks. Love you too. Thank you. Have a seat. Keep up the good work. Okay. Uh, later. We'll get Suleiman. We'll get Suleiman. This guy. Come here. And we'll get. Uh, wait, 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 wait. We'll get. Uh, Where's the other sister? We'll get the sister with the glasses in the back. Mashallah. So, uh, in the last week we spoke about two individuals. We spoke about uh, brother in Am Bukhari and we spoke about brother Tom. Uh, these are two incredible people from the Muslim community, and today we'll talk about Terry Fox. Okay? So, uh, so uh, the reason why we're talking about these people is to be positive and to have a goal in life, and you try to serve people to the best of your ability. Uh, there are some of us who always complain, no matter what, even if it's raining outside. They would be whining about the fact that the, uh, the streets are wet. Well, this is the fact. When it rains, the streets are wet. There's nothing you can do about it, right? So uh, we're, we're going to do a little experiment before we start our talk. So I'm going to ask Brother Suleiman and Sister uh, Sumaya, mashallah. Uh, you will stand over here. Come, both of you. You'll face this way. You'll face this way. Actually, no, face this way. So, uh, can can we give them more space? You guys? Sorry? So, uh, Sumaya, close your eyes. And Sulaiman, stand on one foot. Okay. Now you guys are going to go toward the door. Close your eyes, go with one foot. The other way, no, the other one. Now close your eyes. No cheating, please. <laughs> oh. Okay, sorry about that. Come back, come back. No, 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 open your eyes, open your eyes. You're okay, you're fine. Okay. We're gonna switch things around. Close your eyes. Don't so turn this way. You're gonna walk with one foot. Or the door. Yeah, go. <laughs> I think your eyes were open. Okay. Come. 
Yeah, open your eyes. It's okay. Come. Yeah, pick an eraser. You did a fantastic job. Sorry about the bump in the wall. Do you have insurance? Pick one. A fish. Just pick one. Give it to your sister. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the, the reason, the reason, the reason we did this is just show you how many challenges you will have if you lose one of your organs. Like you see, uh, Sumaya, is that your name? Sumaya. You see how she crashed on the wall? Now imagine if all of a sudden you lose your eyes or you lose one or two of your legs and you spend the rest of your life like this. SubhanAllah. But I know it's, it's a challenge and Allah will give you the reward for your patience. Uh, the point is, some people, if something bad happens to them, they lose an organ or a limb, they spend the rest of their life without eyes or legs. Uh, so for some people, it's a devastating experience. They give up on the world, they sit in their rooms and they cry till the end of their life. So this is one way you can do it. Another group of people, they get over their disability and they try to serve themselves. They get a good education, they get a job, they live a good life, right? And I gave the example of Brother Inam Bukhari. And by the way, uh, there are talks now with his family. I'm good friends with the family and I'm trying to come up with uh, an agreement between Anatolia and his family. So to commemorate his memory, we're going to send uh, a copy of the clear Quran, the hardcover, a very nice copy, deluxe edition, to every masjid in Canada and every public office in Canada. So Justin Trudeau will be getting one, and all politicians and members of parliament will be getting a copy of the translation to honor this man. There is a third group who take it to the next level. So we said that the first group, they cry themselves to death. The second group, they get over it. They, they get an education, they get a job, they, they live a decent life. The third group, they take it to the next level, so they don't cry, they don't waste their lives uh, crying over their disability. Not only they get an education, they find a job, but they take it to the next level, which is serving humanity. They work to serve other people. So the example for today is Terry Fox. I'm sure you heard about him and the Terry Fox run and they raised funds for cancer research. Uh, I didn't know much about him, so because I was assigned this topic to speak a little bit about him today and what we can learn from him to honor his legacy, I did a, a bit of research to read about him. So at the age of 18, he had an accident and um, he had a bump in his knee. So uh, because he was, uh, I think he was playing basketball or something. Yeah, he was running, he was playing basketball and stuff, and he said, I'm going to wait till the end of the season to go to the doctor because, you know, he had this pain in his knee, and at the end of the season, he went and they told him, you have cancer in, in your knee, and eventually, he had, they had to ampute, uh, to remove uh, his, his leg, uh, amputate his leg. Uh, but still, he was playing uh, basketball, sitting on a wheelchair, and he won three uh, uh, competitions, uh, three titles. I think he was in Vancouver. But eventually he decided to help people who have cancer. So he started the run from the east coast of Canada. You know, there's this video where he dipped his, his uh, foot, artificial leg, in, in the uh, lake. And he, he started to run uh, to the west coast of Canada. And he was running 26 miles per day. 26 miles per day, which a lot of uh, people who don't have disability find it so difficult. So I saw his videos running in the street, there is snow on the ground, when it is raining, and one of his good friends was running with him to raise funds for people. Uh, eventually he couldn't make it to the other end of the country, uh, I think he died in Thunder Bay, and, uh, and uh, but he ran for for, for a, he covered a long distance of Canada, but he died almost halfway. Uh, 
Since he died in 1981, June 8, 28, uh, 1981, they have been doing these runs for him and uh, they have been collecting funds for cancer uh, research. And from what I read, they raised over $650 million since 1981 just to uh, do research on cancer and try to help people with uh, disability. So there are so many things we can learn from him, but there's also uh, so much we can do. Even if each of you pays $1, $5, if you talk to your neighbor, your friends to raise funds for this good cause, it's a good way to serve humanity. And I always say, before you become a good Muslim, you have to be a good human being. So before you become a good Muslim, you have to be a good human being. You care about other people. It doesn't matter if the person is a Muslim or a Hindu or a Jewish or Christian or a Buddhist. It doesn't really matter. Because as we said last year, we come from the same father, the same mother. Eventually, we are not the judge. On the day of judgment, they will stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He will ask them for their beliefs and choices in life. We are not the judge. We make mistakes too in life. So we try to serve humanity and contribute and help everyone to the best of our abilities. And uh, even if you contribute one dollar to this run or a Terry Fox uh, walk, uh, it will take people a long way. And I always give the example of Lake Ontario. It didn't happen overnight. Small drops of rain came together over so many years and they formed what we know today as Lake Ontario. Uh, so what do we learn from the legacy of Terry Fox, number one. Sister here. Never give up. Yes. With the fish, okay. Yes. What else? We'll pick a brother. This brother here. Take advantage of your, like, take advantage of what you still have. Mashallah. Take advantage of what you have. You, this ability should not stop you from succeeding and from helping other people. What else? We'll pick, uh, who else? We'll pick, uh, we'll pick uh, the sister over here. Yes, yes. Keep moving on. Don't lose hope. The rabbit or the pig? Rabbit, okay. There is one important thing we can learn from the story. Yes. About his knee and his surgery. And waiting till the end of the season to go and see a doctor. What should we learn from this? Okay, we'll pick this guy. What should have he done? Okay, we'll get someone else. Okay, tell me. He said, at the end, he said, today if I can't finish it, others will finish it for him. Okay. Have a seat. Sit down. Close. Sit down. We'll get this guy. Yes. What should he have done? Okay, we'll get someone else. We'll get the sister over here. Yes. Exactly. Thank you. Okay, when we felt the pain, listen, listen, guys. Listen, when he felt the pain and his uh, knee was swelling, he should have went to the doctor. He shouldn't have waited till the end of the season. It took him uh, three, four months to go and see a doctor. And this maybe, based on what I read, maybe because he waited for so long, it made his uh, situation worse. If you have something serious, if you fall down, if you feel some pain or something is swelling, you should go and see the doctor. The basketball can wait, the soccer can wait, the video games can wait. Take good care of your health. So with that, I'll let you go, inshallah, and make sure you contribute. You talk to your family and neighbors about the Terry Fox uh, folks run. And, uh, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and your family and give you a long and healthy life. Jazakumullah khairan. Questions tomorrow, inshallah. No more questions today.